Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, as you can see, it's a pretty uh, dark and rainy day today. There is a little light coming through now, but it's been extremely dark. And what I was doing today is I ran a solar panel out there into the yard and ran it up here to that uh, power queen. Twelve volt, two hundred amp hour lithium iron phosphate plus battery model of theirs. I've hooked it up to the solar panel up to this uh, Victron Energy Smart Solar Charge Controller seventy five fifteen, and trying to charge this up for its uh, initial full charge. My hopes were to bring this thing up in the past couple of days. Uh, I really only started it today. Yesterday was not even worth it at all. It was so dark and rainy. Today started off looking good and then quickly went south for sunshine. So, uh, the goal is to charge this up all the way, uh, which we're going to do one way or the other. Might have to resort to the generator and charger to expedite things, but we'll let this go for a couple days. Might hook up a second solar panel to that, make it a little faster. But I wanted to show you a couple things about this. So, only needed these few tools right here uh, to hook this whole thing together. Just needed one little wrench to tie on these uh, charge controller cables. One little screwdriver, a little resistor. For pre-charging the charge controller and avoiding any sparks, any short circuitry that might happen due to the spark on a charge controller. I always use that. Hook up the positive first, put this little resistor between the cable and the battery terminal for a few seconds. The Victron charge controller did light up momentarily while I did that, so I know that those little uh, electronic components inside the charge controller got pre-energized connected this without a single spark so that's why I always carry one of these around and use it and then I just use a simple pair of uh, wire strippers to trim the ends of the uh, solar panel cables a little bit and this is just set up only for a, a temporary first charge. I'm gonna take this thing up to a full charge and then get into the demonstration over the next few days. We're gonna ask a lot of this battery, expect it to perform, but I thought it'd be a good time to go over uh, a little bit of the uh, charge controller uh, parameters and, and what I do really like about this Victron charger. So, this charge controller does have an app that you download onto your phone or tablet, whatever you're using. And I just opened it up and I'll try and show you a couple of things that uh, I really do like about this. So right here is the live shot. It's connected to the charge controller shows a whopping 15, 16 watts coming off of that 100 watt solar panel, which is perfect and in good condition, but like I said, it's very dark. Shows the voltage off the solar, 15.6 voltage. It's fluctuating, of course, a little bit. The current, one amp. Below that, battery voltage is 13.26. That's under that 15, 16 watts of charge. At rest, it would be lower. And in fact, this battery was at a complete rest, had not had a, a charge or discharge since it arrived and was sitting at a 13.17. Uh, so yeah, it's charging technically, but not very fast. But that's through no fault and anything other than lack of sunshine. So, the other thing that I did on this was, if you go to the settings on, on this uh, app, uh, it'll, and you 
tap on the battery there's a place for expert mode rather than just the presets uh, if you don't do anything for lithium you're going to want to go ahead and hit that expert mode and then you can scroll down and you'll come up with a lithium iron phosphate uh, profile and that's what you want and then it shows you that the absorption voltage is set for 14.2 the float voltage for 13.5 and that's exactly what you want for this so I wanted to go over that uh, this little char uh, charge controller is is just fantastic you know they're really built for uh, maintaining your lithium batteries that's what's going to be uh, hooked up to this in a standalone system that we're going to construct for demonstration purposes and, and really see what this battery is capable of. Just wanted to give you a quick look at what's happening today. We're charging up that Power Queen. Uh, <laughs> kind of charging it up today. Might have to drop the generator on it if the weather doesn't change uh, here shortly. At any rate, getting pretty excited about this test coming up. It's going to be a lot of fun and and uh, actually having some fun here watching it charge slowly. All right, everybody. Aloha.